بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, so basically, let's see this core paper. Now, this core paper focuses more on enterprise infrastructure, including dual stack IPv4 and IPv6 architecture. Now, basically, uh, dual stack means you are running both IP version 4 as well as IP version 6 networks. Like here, uh, generally, you, you see most of the production networks started already using IP version 6. Now, with the evolution of the IP version 6, uh, you, you know, you need to make sure that your customers or maybe your uh, companies uh, or the partners you generally connect to, you need to be able to communicate with them. So let's say if they are running some kind of IPv6 networks or maybe some of them are running IPv4 networks, then basically you'll be running both IP version 4 and IP version 6. So you need to make sure that uh, your business connectivity and for the future growth, you will be supporting both V4 as well as the V6, like uh, supporting the existing infrastructure as well as uh, for the future growth requirements. Okay, so so in this options here, so all the all the organizations again need to carefully plan the coexistence of both IP version four and IP version six. Okay, so that's what it talks about. So we'll be seeing some implementation of routing, like OSPF routing or other routing protocols, BGP, where we'll be running both V4 and V6, and we are going to learn both simultaneously. So next thing you also be, you know, now probably this exam, you also need to know the knowledge of virtualization concepts. Now, virtualizations, again, in this, there is something called server virtualization where you need to know some options relating to virtual machines, the VMs, and then there is something like containers and then virtual switching concepts. And also, you'll be getting into something like network, uh, for network for functions virtualization that is like kind of NF NFE architecture, which is going to be applied uh, for an enterprise network. So, so it basically covers how you can use the virtualization architecture to apply in your production scenarios. And then also there will be something like infrastructure. Now infrastructure relates to the concepts relating to wide as well as your wireless networks, like understanding the LANs, VLAN, trunking concepts, MSTP, ether channels, mostly about the LAN, LAN concepts, uh, including, including both the wide and the wireless LAN, of course. Again, in the wireless, you will be understanding the wireless infrastructure and then how you can secure that particular wireless infrastructure and also you, how you are going to troubleshoot those wireless infrastructure networks. And apart from that, you also get into some kind of routing concepts where you will be learning how to implement the different routing protocols like EHRP, OSPF protocol, BGP, and then some of the advanced BGP options along with multicasting. And of course, there are plenty of other options like the services, like implementing NAT, quality of service, NTP, FHRP. I have some detailed list, probably next, we'll be getting into that. And then there is an option of network assurance. Now, network assurance is more about uh, implementing some of the network diagnostic tools, like some of the tools which can be used to monitor and troubleshoot your networks. Like we use ping command, Trace commands, generally these commands will help us to uh, check the connectivity, right? That's what we do. And of course, uh, monitoring your network using some kind of SNMP protocol and then logging options, syslog servers, basically the logging options again. And also you'll see some kind of troubleshooting concepts, troubleshooting with the help of some of the debug commands. And then we have something like SPAN, RSPAN concepts, IPSLS, Cisco DNA. So we'll be getting into overview of all these concepts here. And also you need to know some concepts of security as well. So basically you don't get into the core security, but you need to know how to, uh, what are the different uh, security options we have and how we can uh, provide some kind of endpoint security like securing your web traffic, what are the options we have how to secure your emails, what are the options we have, and then understanding some basic security concepts like .onix authentication or web authentication options, or you know there are some overview of TrustSec or MacSec options, what they exactly. So you don't get into the core security topics here, 
but you need to have an overall overview of these concepts including some kind of acls some zone based firewall concepts or you know some other device hardening options we have and finally it also test your knowledge on some kind of automation tools the automation is more into network programmability we call it as network programmability and automation and we'll be covering some kind of foundation concepts here and also we'll will understand something called apis which are like the programs or the apl applica application programmable interfaces uh, commonly used apis and also we'll get into some cisco devnet overview options so regarding the devnet uh, devnet options cisco devnet and also we'll be seeing some kind of basic python python scripting concepts and some of the scripts we'll see so this is like what we'll see in the automation automation section here okay so so at the at the end you know this encore paper need to have a knowledge of the dual stack ipv4 and ip ip v6 infrastructure or the architecture and also how you are going to apply that in your network in your both wide and the wireless networks and also some of the foundation overview of the virtualization concepts and some of the services network assurance options and securing security options and also the automation options okay so this ccnp enterprise core as i said this paper is going to be associated with multiple certifications so if you want to get your ccnp enterprise certification you need to uh, pass this exam or even if you are we are trying to go for cci enterprise infrastructure also the same prerequisite exam or even if you are going for cci enterprise wireless also the same exam also if you are opting for any kind of specialist certifications like if you want to get a specialist certificate if you just pass this encore encore exam then basically you get cisco certified specialist encore exams okay so again as i said the core exam is a prerequisite or qualifying exam for both of your cci enterprise infrastructure as well as cci enterprise wireless options